friends, welcome back to my channel. If you are new, my name is Savannah and I am the owner and operator of Pause and Relax, Mobile Pet Grooming and Reiki Services. In today's video, I'm going to be walking you through the three main ways that I bath dogs in our DIY mobile pet grooming build. If you are not a mobile pet groomer, no worries because some of these systems can be used for owners at home, house call groomers, or even improving your salon bathing setup. So let's just jump right into the content. Let's start off with kind of the most simple option. This can be used at home in your bathtub, as a house call groomer, as a mobile groomer, or if you want for a really cheap setup in a salon. So this is what I like to call my bucket bathing system. I use this a lot in my mobile pet grooming van in the winter because my pipes tend to freeze up. So if they're frozen or if I'm only doing one dog at a time, this is a really effective way for me to get a really good clean on my dogs. So how this works, I fill up a bucket. Generally, all I have to fill is one five gallon pail in my garage since I'm mobile, my van is parked at home and I have a hot and cold water tap in my garage. Works out well for me because my husband's a plumber. So I fill up my bucket right before my dog that I do in the evening. A comfortable with, water temperature, I guess I should say. And then I haul that out to the van. And this handy little pump is from Amazon. Now I have it in an orange color, which when I bought this, the blue was out of stock. But when I will be repurchasing this, I'm definitely going to get it in the blue because I try to have everything matching with my business colors, which are a light purple and a light blue. Anyways, how this works, you drop the pump into the bucket and there are two different buttons on the pump. So the one is your on off switch and the other one controls the water pressure. Now, initially when I first got this to test out, I didn't know how good it was going to be, but let me tell you, the water pressure is great. I love it. Sometimes it takes a second for the water to get going through the hose. You might have to kind of hold the hose up to get the water running through it. But once it starts running through it, it gives you great pressure and a steady stream. Honestly, I love it. This is how I use my bucket system. And in terms of actually shampooing the dog when I'm using this shower pump. I just put it into a squeeze bottle, mix my shampoo, concentrate with water like I normally do, and I just lather them up old school way. Now, if you want to get really old school with washing your dogs, you can just fill up a bucket of water, lather them up really good, and use a pitcher to rinse them off. I have done this in a pinch when my pump isn't working. I should also mention that this bucket system pump, you just recharge it. It's no batteries, so that's super easy. Just recharge it every night or however often that you need, and then it's ready to go when you're going to groom some doggos. I will also mention that I will be leaving my Amazon storefront down below to all of these products. Current price of this portable shower pump is, it looks like around $50 to $60 on Canadian Amazon but obviously depending when you're watching this that could vary but honestly very worth the money and if this ever broke on me I would be repurchasing it. It is very very helpful to me in winter and also if I'm only just doing one or two dogs and I don't want to fill up my huge tank in the back of my van. Okay so next we are going to move on to my little hack of a DIY bathing system using a car wash nozzle. Now this is also from Amazon. I ordered this on a whim and thought, you know what, let's try this out and I am obsessed. So how I use this is when I do fill up water in my back tanks and it comes out of the hose, the metal hose on the inside of my tub, and then you just screw this on. 
you put some shampoo and water into the little reservoir, you screw it on, and then like a normal garden nozzle or car washing nozzle, it has many different settings. So you can find the perfect setting that you like to wash your dogs and it mixes the shampoo and water together and because it's a garden nozzle and it's going through a pump in my back system the pressure of this is amazing while yes the pressure of the last travel shower that i showed you is great it doesn't mix the shampoo for you um and I find that this like DIY bathing system that mixes the shampoo and water, it really helps you get dirty dogs clean because the pressure is getting down to their skin. Um, it definitely saves time on bathing. But this isn't an option for me in winter if my pipes are frozen or if I'm just doing one dog at a time. It's a lot of work to get this all set up. Um, and then have to blow out my lines with an air compressor in the back after every dog so it doesn't freeze, etc., etc. Because I currently do not have a heated place to park my van. So in winter where I live, if you haven't gathered, my main issue is freezing problems. So this would be very helpful in a mobile unit where you have um, a water tank with a traditional pump and you just screw this onto your hose and your tub, 10 out of 10, honestly, like 20 out of 10, would recommend. You should get it. Uh, this also would obviously work in a salon setting and trying to think how at-home owners could use this. If there's a way that you could get a hose in your tub that you could attach this to, then it would be very helpful. Now, how this differs from the bathing uh, method that I showed previously, it honestly just shampoos just, just a bit better because in the last method, I have the travel pump to rinse off the pup, but I have to wash and scrub by hand. This one definitely saves on your hands, your wrists, just the physical labor of bathing a dog, but I also find that you're able to get the dogs cleaner faster. So if I could use this all year round, all the time, I definitely would. At the time of filming this video, this car wash nozzle is on Amazon for $24.99. It seems like the other brands range in price from $20 to upwards of like $35. I have heard people say that these break often. Mine has not broken on me, but honestly, I would keep repurchasing. I guess you also would have to weigh out your options of... Um, how often they do break for you, but I know that some professional bathing systems that aren't DIY are like $500. So I just quickly googled bathing beauty because that is the one bathing system I know off of the top of my head. And apparently these type run from approximately $700 to $1,200 US. Lastly, I just want to show you guys what happened to me this past winter when I forgot to blow out my back lines after I was using my van's bathing system with the car wash nozzle. Um, I completely froze the back. I need a new water heater, a new water pump, and as you can see, a very big mess disaster. Ugh, what a, what a train wreck. But also, it will show you how you can either have your water in the tub go to your gray tank, and then you still have to empty your gray tank, or you can just put a bucket underneath the sink, take off your P-trap or whatever plumbing you have, have your gray water go into that bucket, and then dump it after every dog that you groom. If you were watching this video and you're thinking, well, this is great. You're telling me all about nozzles and how to rinse my dogs, etc. But what does your setup actually look like in the back with our DIY water tanks, our fresh and gray water, the water pump, all of the plumbing, how we drain our gray water, etc. I got you covered, boo. Um, I have another video talking all about the plumbing in the van, how I fill up my, my back water tanks when I do use the car wash nozzle or even just a regular garden nozzle is what I was using on the hose in my tub before I found the car wash nozzle. 
Um, I will link that video. I've got, I think, a couple different videos about the plumbing and also just videos about our conversion in general. So I think that is all I have to show you guys today about what I use as my main two different bathing systems in the van. I hope you guys found this video helpful. If you have any suggestions for videos, I would love to hear them down below. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye guys. Thank you.